Hey guys, welcome to How to Wire It. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at how to wire up one of these, a thermistor. Now, very similar to the photocell that we've worked with before, the thermistor is a resistor that changes its resistance based on the temperature at this little nub here. And to wire this up, we're basically going to be creating a voltage divider by connecting the thermistor to a resistor in series. And then we'll be taking our reading by measuring the voltage at the point in which the two connect. So on my breadboard here, I have a breadboard Arduino. It's very similar to a, any sort of Arduino that you may have, an Arduino Uno or anything like that. And I've already gone ahead and connected up the power wires to my power rails. So at this point, I'm going to take a little red wire here and pop it into my breadboard. It doesn't really matter where, just somewhere connecting your positive voltage to a point on your breadboard. And then I'm going to take another little jumper wire and connect it to a different place on my breadboard and connect it to ground on the power rail. So now I have both power and ground ready to be connected to our devices. So we're going to start off here with the thermistor and we're just going to plug it in to the point on the breadboard that we have our red wire and then just to an empty column here on the breadboard. And now our resistor is going to connect to ground and then to that same column that we just plugged in the thermistor. So this is the basic voltage divider circuit. And so the power flows in through the, through the thermistor, out and through the resistor, and down to ground. Now I'm going to note that this is a 10K resistor, and that's because this is a 10K thermistor. There are different types of thermistors with different ratings, different accuracies, and so this is a 10K thermistor, so I'm using a 10K resistor with it. If you have a different type of thermistor, you're going to have to make sure that you match your resistor to the spec sheet that it lays out for you. Now, to connect this to the Arduino, because we've just created a circuit, it's not yet connected to the Arduino, I'm going to take this jumper wire here and plug it into the A0 pin on this Arduino, and then plug it into that same column that the thermistor and resistor are connected to. So at this point now, power flows in through the thermistor and then to this column that has the resistor and this jumper wire to the Arduino's analog pin. And some of the power is going to continue on through the resistor into ground, and then some of the power is going to continue into the Arduino's analog in pin. And this is how we're going to read our thermistor. So now that we have this all wired up, let's take a look at the code that will make this all run. So here you can see that we have the basic graph demo program loaded up. And all this does is in setup, we start our serial line. And then our loop is very simple. We just print out what we read at analog pin A0 which is where our thermistor is connected on the Arduino. So if we open up the uh, serial monitor here, we can see that we just get a bunch of numbers flying through and they change. If I hold on to the thermistor here, we can see that they're going up and if I let go, they start going down. And we can also take a look here at the plotter and see the numbers go up and go down on the graph. Now, this isn't really all that useful because we're getting, you know, 500, 560, 570. It's not really telling us what the temperature is, it's just giving us a relative indication of the temperature. So, this really isn't all that useful right now. So, in order to make it useful, we have, there is a library that you can find on my GitHub page that is linked in this video. And this library will take these voltage inputs that we're getting at our, uh, at our analog input pin and it will convert it for us. It will do all the math necessary to 
convert that voltage into a temperature reading. So let's go and take a look at that code because that's going to be a lot more useful to us. So here you can see that I have the thermistor demo program loaded up and I, the first line I do is I include the thermistor library and this lets me utilize all the functions that come with this library. So I create an instance of a thermistor here and then the rest of the code is more or less the same as the code that we have in the graph program. We start up our serial line and then in loop we grab the temperature by saying int temperature equals and then the default output from the get temp function of the thermistor library is a float and we're just going to grab an integer. We don't need any decimal places in our reading here. So we convert it to an int and we say temp.getTemp and this returns to us our temperature. And then we print out the temperature and wait one second. So this just loops over and over, getting the temperature and then printing it out and waiting a second. So now if we open up the serial monitor, we can see that it's 77 degrees. And if I hold on to the thermistor, that temperature starts rocketing up really quickly. We're at 89, 90, 91, and I'm sure if I kept holding it longer and longer, it would get up eventually all the way to human body temperature of 98.6. So this is a really useful little library, especially when you have these little sensors and you want an accurate reading off of one of these. And again, this library is linked in the description of my video and you can feel free to go and grab it off of my GitHub and use it yourself. So yeah, that's it for wiring up one of these little thermistors and the basic code to make it run. So I hope you like this video. If you do, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like it, definitely subscribe to my channel where you can find all sorts of different tutorials. All right, well, that's all for now. I'll see you guys later.